Taylor Swift is really out here bigger than the NFL, huh? <laughs> I'm a recently converted Swifty, okay? Like, I already knew how big she was as an artist. Like, I knew her larger than life scale. She's up there with Drake. She's up there with she, Bad Bunny. Like, she is bigger than them. Actually, she's, she is probably the largest artist in the world currently. And I knew that for a long time, right? So I always respected her for that, but I never really listened to her music because it wasn't for me. It was very recently, as of the Midnight's album, when I realized how good of a songwriter she actually was and why people fall for Taylor's music the way that they do. Like, being a singer-songwriter has a very very specific level of I respect you more than I respect anybody else because not you're not just a performer these lyrics that you that you are singing that pin your mind is connected to that pin and I say this with rap if you don't know this is primarily a rap channel but the whole the whole the whole shit with her being at the Kansas City Chiefs game that like it just brought me to speak on this but from somebody who cares about rap in the deep level that I do, like 99% of the rap you're gonna hear is more than likely written, at least the majority of it is written by the artist. And I say it all the time that lyrics are like a fingerprint for the artist. Like no matter what people do, it doesn't matter if you try to imitate Drake, if you try to imitate Taylor Swift, you are never gonna sound exactly like that person because their lyrical style is a fingerprint, it is their soul, it's their mind, there is no other one out there on the planet. It. That's why whenever you hear like AI Taylor, or you hear AI Ariana Grande, AI Drake, there's a track that I just listened to, AI Kanye, like the voices are similar, but I can hear lyrically that it is not them that has written this song. And that's why I respect Taylor in the way that I do, especially now, especially now that I've been like getting into the lyrics, right? Like I had never really listened to Taylor Swift lyrics before. I've listened to the ones like on her debut album and Fearless and like the, the radio tracks and the radio tracks are never, they're never the best ones on the album for the most part so once i actually listen to midnights i'm like damn bro her pen has been insane maroon like the rust that grew between two telephones like that is a crazy bar that shit is insane that's a crazy like to this day i think about that line like the rust that grew between two telephones and then the fact she got an album called red out and then and red faded into the the end of maroon so i have like this whole newfound appreciation and respect for taylor as an artist and an understanding of why taylor has the fan base and the fanatics that she does because like i'm a fanatic of drake i'm a fanatic of lupe fiasco anybody that has a very emotional pin i'm a fan of them at a high level so now knowing that taylor writes her own music and writes in the way that she does i understand the fandom and it's just like every time i hear about something in the news or something in media i'm like it all makes sense now it all makes sense now. She was at the Kansas City game, Kansas City Chiefs game. Once people realized that she was there, nobody gave a fuck about the game. To the point where the post-game interview of the highest paid player, maybe that's Joe Burrow now, but the highest paid quarterback of the time, a 10-year, $550 million deal. The face of the league, the quarterback of the Kansas City Chiefs. The post-game interview, they asked him about Taylor Swift. <laughs> They just won, and they didn't ask him about his gameplay. They didn't ask him about, they were like, hey, you knew that Taylor was here, so you had to get the ball to Kelsey, right? And then I'm listening to, like, the post game when they go back into the studio, the broadcast studio for the panel, and they're like, who won today? And one of them said Taylor Swift wasn't even talking about football. Bro, she is bigger than football. <laughs> and it was so funny. I, I, saw a, uh, I saw a tweet that was like, the Chiefs scored 31 points. You know what 31? is reverse 13 and i'm like oh my god this is such a swifty thing to do to like read too deep into the score of the football game this is how i know that there's a lot of swift taylor swift fans out there that don't watch football because 31 is one of the more common scores you can only score in sevens and threes for the most point for the most part maybe a two every once in a while but everything's gonna come in seven and threes so you're gonna get sevens you're gonna get tens you're gonna get 17s you're gonna get 21s 24s 30 31 these are the common scores scores it's not like she she wasn't the mastermind i'm sorry to tell y'all it's just one of the more common scores in the game so i don't mean to burst your bubble about that but bro 
people paid real money i don't know if you know how expensive it is to go to a football game but it is not the dallas cowboys it's a hundred dollars to park your car the tickets are minimum like 300 i'm sure it's no different from the chiefs because the chiefs have actually won shit in the past two three years so it's mad expensive to go to the games and then when everybody realized that she was there they got up out of their seat to go stand in line in the corridor of the fucking arena for a chance to even get a picture with taylor swift imagine me paying 400 dollars to go watch the chiefs and then i'm like ah i'm just decided not watch the second half of the game and i'm gonna wait for taylor to come out it is insane i haven't seen fandom like this honestly since fucking michael jackson I'm not saying that taylor's my Michael Jackson she might be your Michael Jackson but objectively speaking there's not going to be another Michael Jackson Michael's fans were doing this shit before the internet even existed could you imagine if they had the internet but yeah bro Taylor surprises me more and more every single day I could not believe my ears when I heard that they were talking about Taylor Swift in the post-game interview I was like we're we're interviewing the greatest quarterback in the league right now and might go down as top 10 of all time and we're asking him if he knew he had to get the touchdown pass to Travis Kelsey because Taylor Swift is in the building. That's an insane post-game interview.